Hey everybody, welcome to Speed Dating for Ghosts. Is this some intervention you guys are giving me? <laughs> <laughs> like, are you trying to get me a girlfriend? Is this it? No. Uh, no, we'll find you a sexy deceased woman. Here we go. Ahem. Oh, oh hello, hello there. Then. Oh, you go. You must be here for speed dating. My name's Fran. I run this little operation. D nice I, nice to I meet you, Fran. Nice hey. to meet you, Fran. Do we have the speed sex with Oh, her? that's really gross. Uh, the, uh, the grayed out thing is what I'm selecting. Okay, as long as we know. You're a nice one. We get, we all... get all kinds of ghosts here. Nice ones, sad ones, a few spooky customers. It gets lonely being a ghost. It has been pretty difficult. It has? Wonderful, then let's get started. We've got three rooms set up, each with their own super fun themes. You, you pick one and sit at a table. Makes sense. Makes then. sense. Doesn't it though? Yes, it really does. Another ghost who also signed up sits across from you. You'll have a few minutes to get to know them. Then the bell rings and, the, and you switch seats. Bell okay. rings from somewhere. <laughs> Just, Just like, like that. In all, you'll meet three ghosts over two rounds. And at the end, you okay, get to choose so. your favorite. Now we go for it. <laughs> if they like you too, you can go on a date. How's all that sound? What if I like this one? I like it when ladies tell me what to do. I cannot wait. Neither can I! Damn it. First things first, though. Oh, please, okay. please, a character build. Oh my god. I want to see us. <laughs> Choose your room. Okay. Room of liars. <laughs> yes. Room of liars. Room of liars, room of liars room please. Room of black, though. No, room yeah. of liars. Okay, okay. Wow. You've been outvoted by the couch. The room of liars looks a bit like a conference hall. The kind you might see in an airport hotel. There was a meeting of regional managers here yesterday, <laughs> followed by uh. some couple's 65th anniversary in the evening. They left a few balloons. Worn, plush, stacking chairs are set on either side of lacquered oak tables. In one corner, there are wine glasses and a metal pitcher of water, alongside a stainless steel urn for coffee. Ghosts don't need coffee. One particularly nervous ghost is holding a cup anyway. Aww. Some habits never die. All right, so the bell rings. It's a scene really well. The bell rings and a ghost appears. Which one is it? Oh! oh. Ah! A ghost! Do you want me to voice? Yeah, please do. <laughs> oh God! Sorry. Of, of course, you're you're a ghost. We all are. I'm still not used to this whole uh, being dead thing. Oh, that's okay, buddy. Nothing prepares you for this life, except this isn't life. P post life? I, I feel so. I don't know lost. that I need this kind of anxiety in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have anxiety attacks. I focus on my breathing. Listen to my heart beating. Oh, I can't breathe. I don't even have blood. What does that mean? I think it's pretty neat. <laughs> what? what? You're kidding, right? We are ghosts! Caught between life and death? Isn't that terrifying? I can see how that's scary. Of course you can. When I was alive, I was so scared of ghosts. It started when I was little. A movie I saw. I pushed my bed against the wall. I told my mom it was so that I wouldn't fall out. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't sleep. Unless my back was up against the wall. That is so... Oh, why are you scared, buddy? I pictured the worst ghosts, devils, dark entities. Oh, he's cute. He's got little horns. Hateful things floating in the dark, hiding in mirrors, watching, standing behind me. Now, now I learned they were there. <laughs> Everyone who told me that they want to get to know me better. <laughs> they go out to a movie. Well, he is telling you about his past. Well, the she. I don't know. What kind of ghost are we dating? It's a very gender neutral game. Okay. Basically, ghosts are real. Nightmares are true. It's, it's a, it's a lot to accept, buddy. Yeah, it, it is. is. You're going to go so squeaky that some dogs are going to be like, yeah, that's what I like. <laughs> are you afraid of ghosts? Not anymore. What changed? I found things to like. Aww. You got to help them see the bright side. I want to find things to like. Even for a second. Things oh, I oh, geez, I want to help you. <laughs> Says I'm back from my break. Did you miss me? Oh, ah! Jesus. <laughs> oh. oh. That was, that was just a bell. bell. <laughs> Thank you for listening. I'm going to give you the biggest hug. <laughs> Aww, okay, bye. Buddy. I'm going to help you. Damn it, I want to help you. Fuck. I actually love the idea of speed dating. No um, yeah. Another ghost appears. <laughs> 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 well, look what we have here. The ghost's voice creaks like ancient wood. The name's Spooky Peter. He tips his hat. Dust spills off the brim. How do you do? 
You okay? <laughs> I'd wager otherwise. Like maybe you're scared. Like maybe you've seen a ghost. Spooky Peter laughs. Bah! It was, it was or coughs, I can't tell. You definitely are spooky. Thank you for saying so. I've been doing this a while. My record of hauntings goes back long across the door since the Black Death took me in 65. 1665. What, 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 you thought it was to be back in the, never mind. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> is, this, is this Charles II? <laughs> yeah, pretty sure the plague was in 1665, dude. It really happens. Wars, revolutions. Mostly I read about these things. Mostly I keep to my own. Spooking and scaring. Got pretty good at it. Even been in books. Not always by name, mind you. But I can tell when it's me. The top hat. The fear. All hot and sick. Nobody spooks him like Spooky Peter. Are you the <laughs> devil? <laughs> Just one of his helpers. You could be too. There's something in your eyes. Uh, potential. Teach me your spooky, spooky ways. ways. <laughs> now, now. Spooky Peter don't just teach anybody. A rock has potential before you throw it through a window. What makes you any better? I turn milk <laughs> into worms. worms. I make unplugged stereos blast music. I can pull my face off. What power do we want, guys? I would like the ability to pull my face off if that's okay. I would like that as well. Okay. <laughs> Spooking like that may shock them, but there ain't no art to it. You go all the way. Yeah, my whole at, face. <laughs> the living have nothing more to fear. And when they aren't spooked, what's the point? No. The spookiest spook is the stuff that eats at you. Makes you doubt what you hear or see. Makes you wonder what could be under that bed. Dude, we got like polar opposites in our first round. It's spooky when you see what it is. See how, So how's that for a lesson? Basic <laughs> bit. No, what else you got? Fine. Slow down there, bed sheet. <laughs> Learning to spook them takes time. If a legendary spookin' is what you're after, then Spooky Peter's gonna take you under his wing, so to speak. You'll need a solid foundation. It's all about knowing your audience. A good spookin's in the details. Okay, bye. Get me out of this scene. <laughs> can you, can I, may I voice the next person? Yes, you I'm may. I'm so yeah. excited. Somebody's got to be the... Good. Yeah. It means we move on. <laughs> Guess I'll be seeing you. All right, bye, Applejack. <laughs> when I come back around. Somebody has to be the details. A in thick the... layer of dust now covers the table. Another ghost appears. <laughs> <laughs> you want to make some money? Excuse, Excuse me, baby. <laughs> Do you want to make some money? Dollar bills, cashola. You know the stuff. I, I understand, <laughs> understand what, what money, money is. is. <laughs> Good. Then you understand why I want more. Do ghosts need money? Do ghosts even need money? Technically, no. We don't buy things, but money buys some. I'm channeling you, sorry. <laughs> buys something else now. Favors with the breathers. Influence. Information. You gotta uh, channel your inner Italian, John. The living always want the money. The, the, the living buy plenty. The name's Leon, by the way. I rob banks, don't judge. Nice to meet we, you, Leon. Nice to meet you, buddy. <laughs> don't be making this personal. <laughs> we rob a bank together. That's it. No more contact. At least not for a couple of months. <laughs> but um, I don't rob banks. Yeah, I hear you. Who robs banks? I sure don't. <laughs> <laughs> Stop that. Stop it. Stop what? Robbing banks? Already said I don't rob no banks. <laughs> I, I really don't, though. <laughs> then don't rob a bank with me. My team needs to be committed. 100%. Eyes on the prize. You clearly don't have what it takes. You'd probably get us caught. I turn you I in. I turn you in. Then we're done here. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> the um, bell rings. Bye. I'm kind of digging this taking turns. Uh, that was weird. <laughs> That's three, right? And then we move on to the next room? I guess. The second round. Begins. Oh, no. I'm Yay! back. I'm landing in. The you other know? ghosts. Holy, they were awful. Holy, I'm just a creep. And Spooky Peter. The name is earned. <laughs> oh, buddy. Oof. Also, I think I forgot to introduce myself. My name's oh. Kyo. 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 Sorry. There's no need. There's no need to be. There's no okay. need to be sorry. You're okay, buddy. No need, sure. I'm still so sorry, though. But my anxiety gets the best of me. And social situations are tough. Then why are you here? This one, especially. 
Leon's a piece of work. I like it. He's a dick. I'll say. He actually, he actually <laughs> asked me to rob a bank. Oh, you do? Can you believe that? What I, what I told Fran. Told Fran? Yeah, you told oh. Fran. I feel like I had to. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> Does this make me a snitch? Do you think I, uh, she'll find out maybe I shouldn't have said anything? It's probably for the best. It's okay, buddy. It's all right. All right. Who comes to speed dating looking for bank robbers? We has got some guts. Or whatever the ghost equivalent is. You're not like these other ghosts? Oh, yeah. That's true. Sure thankful for that. At best, dating ghosts is frustrating. Everyone asks the same things. How did you die? What was your life like? If we were alive, the questions would be like, what kind of food do you like? What's your favorite movie? Anything doesn't... Uh, dying doesn't make people interest, more interesting. Oh, interesting. <laughs> it's it's Videodrome, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite movie, I mean. What was your life like, buddy? Oh, please. Not you two. I'll give you the short version. I was in the film studies. You're, that'll give you anxiety. Working my way uh, toward a PhD in debt. Always pretty sad. I had good friends, though. At least you'll know a lot about debt, then. <laughs> <laughs> I was always studying. One weekend, they convinced me not to study. They said we should go to the lake instead. I couldn't swim. I never learned. You see where this is going. Oh, that's why he's wet. I drowned. Everything went black and quiet. I woke up dead in a fancy wooden box. Under six feet of dirt. They buried you alive? I was actually dead, don't, don't worry. But I, uh, I sure didn't have know that at first. I didn't know where I was. I fell right through my coffin. Oh, jeez. Through my own body. Down, down, down into the bedrock. It was so dark. That sounds awful. It was. I will never forget the confusion. The helplessness. I seized up. It actually stopped me from falling. When I freaked out, it was like my whole body became corporeal, not flesh. Just like, you know how if you concentrate, you can still pick up objects like that. Oh, okay. Except I, that I was the object. Aww. Aww. I want to help you. Yes, continue. There you go. And the earth was holding me. It was so quiet there, stuck in solid rock. Did you hear anything? Nothing. I heard nothing. It's impossible to forget that sound. Jeez. I hope I never hear it again. A mess. <laughs> Drowning wasn't as bad as that. Listen. I'm sorry I've been such a downer. I promised I'm not always like this. I was thinking, maybe we could go out sometime? <laughs> Somewhere quieter, maybe. With fewer loud the bells <laughs> and spooky <laughs> beaters. I'd like that. I would or... like that, yeah. Yay! Yay! Yeah, he's, he's less fucking weird than Oh, he's got a little smile. Look at him. That isn't talking about myself. Sorry. If you want to break from him, one of us can... The bell rings. You select text really quick. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'll slow down then. See you after we're done. See ya. <laughs> My spooky protege returns. What knowledge do you seek, protege? <laughs> okay, protege. I have done the rounds. I had a look at the crop. Only you have what is required. The stuff. Now ask what needs asking. What spooks Spooky Peter? Not much. Though I will say, I ain't so fond of beasts. Hmm. Beasts are all instinct. Their fear is primal. Tangible. I can't spook a beast. Not like a person. Oh. Take it, you don't have a pet. <laughs> <laughs> Never. And I steer clear of people who do. <laughs> Spooky folk like me. Rely on a certain covertness. Jenna say qua. <laughs> I can't be all clanging about announcing myself. That's not so spooky. Cats? They can sense Spooky Peter. <laughs> They know I'm there. They know Spooky Peter's there. <laughs> <laughs> if I hide in the closet, they'll scritch and scratch at the door, start yowling, even run around in the dark to wake the owners, I wager. It's trouble, let me tell you. A real impediment. 
Spooky Peter wheezes. Something's rattling around in there. Oh my god. Tell me about the play. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I was dead. I won't say much more than I have. I did my life. Now I do something else entirely. You ever been in the mirror world? What's I have. That? No, yeah, what's that? <laughs> what is that? The place beyond this. But the same is this. You've seen it. But always looking in. Thank God. God, you're so weird. <laughs> so weird and boring and dry, like. If you fancy another lesson, come by that. Come on by that edge of things. I'll show you around the other side. I don't want to go anywhere with you. If, if I, I find time, time. Terry, all you want. I got patience. Like I got time. I can wait forever. Ugh. God, you're fucking weird. Are you creepy? I just don't want to be your friend. Please. Hello. Oh. Hello, friend. Oh, I need to ask you a few questions. About. about go ahead. About Leon. Did Leon mention anything about robbing a bank? He sure did. Yes. Yep. I knew it. He said some weird things when he signed up. Things like, anyone got any lockpicking experience? <laughs> I thought he was joking. I didn't get the joke. But that's normal for me. Did he try to recruit you? <laughs> yeah. I saw the way he reacted during your turn. He left before we could speak. He had uh, so yeah. <laughs> he sure did. Trying to recruit bank robbers. Ask at a ghost speed dating event. <laughs> My ghost speed dating of Oh, sorry. Wrong inflection. I'm sorry about this. And I appreciate your time. I hope the rest of your dates are more stand-up than stick-up. <laughs> oh, Winky <clever>. face. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well. Thank you again for participating in this. Ghosts like you make it all worthwhile. Oh, we're not done, are we? It's about... Know. But the bell rings. It's time to choose your date. It's safe to say Leon's out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's obvious, right? It's anxiety, ghost, or spooky dumb Peter. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Leon. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck this up if I'm not careful. Kyo, right? Yeah. I'm worried about him. All right, let's date this man. I hope I didn't choose wrong. Milo, would you like me to voice Kyo? I got him. Okay. It's fine. <sighs> you Gross. You meet Kyo the next day. This is involved. Don't. Waiting on the street as you approach, looking nervous. That's gross looking. Oh, he's got his headphones on. I'm nervous. Are you nervous? Definitely. What? what? <laughs> said I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Hold what? on a second. <laughs> Let me take off these headphones. That's better. So, what were you saying? Said I'm... I'm just excited. Yeah. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'm worried the place we're going is boring. It's pretty much, well, the middle of nowhere. Not, li not literally. I know because we're ghosts. Um, the middle, the middle of nowhere could mean something weird. Just uh, come with me. Where are we going, buddy? I don't know. I'm gonna hug him though. Uh, Kyo takes you to the woods, deep into the trees, far from any paved roads. Did you know? I make reading cards. Aw, dude! For ghosts to give to other ghosts. Oh, that's cute. Happy anniversary of your tragic end. Oh, jeez. I'm happy for your loss. <laughs> that sort of thing. It's just a hobby. Also, I'm an axe murderer, but anyway. <laughs> Stop in a particularly barren patch of prairie land. Prairies aren't barren. Everything is frozen over. The few clusters of trees are stripped of their leaves with branches like bony hands. Jeez. Squat birds huddled together for warmth near a frozen lake. It's so romantic. While a dry, fighting wind <laughs> blows through. Let's cuddle in the cold. <laughs> Isn't it great out here? I came up here to think, also not to drown. <laughs> I watch the birds. I listen to music. There aren't many souls here. Just the birds and the wind. I see why you like it. Why would you say the other thing? I can, I can be myself here. No one bothers me. I don't need, I don't need happy things to remind me that I'm not happy. Oh, dude! I need sad things to remind me it's okay to be sad sometimes. That is a nice way to put it. It's exhausting to worry like I do, but I'd rather embrace my sadness. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> and just ignore it. 
sadness is a real thing. As real as we are, anyway. So I embrace it. Oh, Kyo looks out on the frozen lake. Come with me. Are we gonna go skating? I wanna show you something. This is where I died. <laughs> Kyo, <laughs> leads you, Kyo leads you away from a lake towards a pocket of trees. Hidden among the poplars and pines is an old house. The wood is gray and brittle. The roof collapsed long ago. This house is a tiny thing. When it was standing, it had just a single room. Inside, the floors are rotted through and covered in layers of bird droppings. Is this where we're gonna have ghost sex? In one corner of oh, a yeah, wood-burning yeah. stove is rusted through. There's not much else. An entire family lived here. Kids were born here. People died. Ghosts had sex. <laughs> <laughs> and, then it, and then it was abandoned. Left to fall apart. Lost among the trees. Now it's my home. Oh. <laughs> I love it. I love what you've done with the place. I, I would never change a thing. It's perfect. Kyo leads you back out into the cold, back to the edge of the frozen lake. This is as far as I will ever go now. And you know what? That's fine. Everything's fine. Aw, shit. That, that was a weird ride. I like it. Save that shit. <laughs> Okay, right. thank you. Well, there we go. All right, yeah, good. <laughs> nice brisk 20 minutes there. That's been uh, one third of the content of Speed Dating for Ghosts. Well, there's only three ghosts? Well, no, every time you play the game, they show you a random assortment of three ghosts. Oh, okay. So we could technically play that again. And okay. We, and like we, we picked one of the three rooms, right? Yeah, so. yeah. So, oh yeah, so the three rooms also, instead of liars, probably have other uh, things. But we'll save that for another time, I think. That's been 20 minutes of uh, the cheap... Nintendo Switch eShop uh, port of Speed Dating for Ghosts. It's cute, it's weird, it looks like it was drawn with marker. <laughs> <laughs> Join us tomorrow for, uh, you know, something else.